Welcome to QDL. QDL is your look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest, and today we are on uh, the floor of Hexagon 2022 in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're going to look at uh, a, a new piece of equipment from Hexagon Metrology, or Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence, I'm sorry. And with me is Jonathan Dove. Um, and what's your title, Jonathan? Uh, systems Manager. Systems Manager with, with Hexagon. Jonathan Dove, Systems Manager with Hexagon. And what are we looking today and uh, kind of describe the whole process we're going to go through? So, so basically, I'd like to talk a little bit about the problem that we were trying to solve with this solution. Uh, so perhaps you could be the operator today, Dirk. I'm an operator. So uh, I, I employed Dirk last week and I trained him up a little bit and then I asked him to operate the machine. So the machine actually measures parts and it takes four minutes to measure a part. So Dirk, can you just load, look after this for a little while? I walk around the shop and then I notice Dirk's not busy at the moment and I go up to Dirk and say, Dirk, I just employed you. Why aren't you doing anything for me? And I'm, and I'm not busy because the machine is it's doing something. Stuff, yeah. So I'm sitting waiting for the machine yeah. to do its thing. Okay. Yeah, so, so Dirk, I think I got the perfect job for you. I know you're a little bit good on the old typing. Could you write me some reports? Right. So I, you then go on the quality reports. So you go off and do the quality reports and lo and behold, the machine finishes. But you've done this perfect sentence. You just want to make it dead right. So you finish it off. And that took two more minutes. So now, instead of having a cycle time of four minutes, you've now got a cycle time of six minutes. So this is a problem because this actually makes a bottle, it actually can, reduces the efficiency of the cell. So what Hexagon decided to do was create a, a, a tempo unit that would allow us to make it so that you would have more time to be free to do more value add, like the quality reports, writing the PCD part programs or whatever. So we then introduced the tempo unit this is a collaborative robot that allows you to uh, load up the components in a, a draw unit that has over 2,000, uh, two, mil no, 2 million square millimeters of storage space in it. So you can actually load the components into the system and then the measuring machine uh, gets loaded directly by the robot. This can give you a 24 hours of extra capacity. Okay. So now what that means is that uh, Dirk would have done eight hours of work and this would then go and do, if, if the old system Dirk would have done eight hours of work and gone home. With this system, uh, Dirk only does half an hour of work because he loads the system and then you get 24 hours of work out of it. So it allows you to give maximum capacity for your equipment. So basically, so the idea here is just is, is automatic loader so that you load it up once and let it go, and, and, and it's going to do its thing for until it needs to be loaded again. But, but actually, if you uh, want to, as it's going along, you can go to the draw unit on the other side, and, then, and you just go to the other side, and you can start loading more work and unloading work. Ah, so, okay, so, so we're, seeing the, we're seeing the front of the drawers here, but on the back side, you, you, you'd open it up, and you could be loading it when the robot isn't using that particular exactly, drawer or something. Yeah, okay. yeah so, so that means that the system never stops, and you can keep on loading it with a load more and more. And if, if, for instance, at the weekend, you decide, oh, on Friday night, before I go away, I could load it up with a complete 20 hours of work or 24 hours of work or more depending on your parts and so it could be running half the weekend or the whole weekend without um, without any intervention. So I noticed the parts are coming out of uh, uh, little holders that are in there. So is this is this pre-programmed for what is in each one of those slots or is there some way for the robot to identify, oh, I picked up this part, run this program? No, we actually have a little scheduler that tells that you tell the system okay. what you want to do. So you basically schedule, I've, put, I've loaded this part in this location, this part in this location. The system actually has a software that, uh, that actually controls everything. So not only does it control uh, the loading, the sequencing of the jobs, but it also ha has an interview style where it interviews you to get uh, to load up a, a new project, a new part. Okay. So it will ask you a few questions, you fill those questions in, and then the robot that you don't read, you don't teach the robot to do anything, you just says, fill in this form. Once the form's filled in, say, this do this job and the system will do the job. Okay, now obviously you're using this robot, uh, we're at Hexagon, so you're using it on a Hexagon Optif. Does it have to be, does the CMM have to be 
a, a hexagon product? Does it have to be a CMN at all? Can, no. can this be used for to put it into a milling machine or something? Uh, well, at the moment, we're actually offering it on, only on a hexagon measuring equipment, okay. but it is fundamentally capable of doing other jobs. In okay. actually the factory, we have it one doing uh, making our air bearings. So, okay. Okay. so we have it actually working. It's doing it. It's earning its living making air okay. bearings. Now, in, in terms of who this is targeted for, is this targeted for, for smaller companies or smaller manufacturers, or does it matter? I, I, think it, I think it really is the business model that you're running and the, and the parts that you're making. So if you have high, val, high value products that you have a repetitive nature, um, this can actually just make a world of difference. Okay. So if you're making medical, military, aerospace, of really very key key customers. Where, you know, you've got a rocket launcher and you fire the missile off, right. the last thing you want it to do is go wrong just as it comes out of the launcher. So there's all those types of things. There's, uh, you know, you send something into space, you can't go fix it, can you? It's, right, right. So those are the, the things that have high value. A medical, it's like the, the consequences of mistakes are very high. So, okay. so I think it fits in really well in those, those sectors. But any any time you have a lot of parts that you need to be measured, uh, this is a thing. It also does another role that's really nice um, that you can set it up with. Say you have a manufacturing center and you're making a range of 20 parts. You can put 20 parts, different fixtures in this system, and the guys come in and they'll just load a single part in, and then uh, the system will then go and load the machine. Well, you say, why would they do that? Well, there's other 10 other guys in the cell Doing, wanting to do the same thing at the same time. Right. So what they do is they come up and they look at the machine and they're like, the machine's running, why can't I, uh, uh, why, I can't use the machine. So they would just load it up. Okay. Sorry, we've run out of work. We, oh, okay. the, it's already done, it's already done, it's done its job, it's finished. <laughs> so we could run a quick, we could chuck a couple more parts on for it. Let's give it another, the lazy devil, give it some more work. So it's off to the races again. Uh, final question. Um, so, is this product already on? Is this already on the market? Yeah, you can buy it. Uh, it's available uh, on all our, well, the smaller measure machines, basically. Okay. So optical and and uh, tactile. Okay. So, all right. All right. Jonathan Dove, appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Thanks. And uh, that is it for today's QDL. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if there are any other products you'd like to see us get on the show, just let us know. Send an email to qdl at qualitydigest.com. I'll do my best. And that is it for today. Thanks for joining us. See you at the next QDL.